All right, boys and girls, so give a little update of what I've done. Haven't done a whole lot. Don't worry, I'm not going crazy here. All right, so on this side over here, this intake manifold was definitely leaking. You can see all the uh, goop down there. That's fuel and dirt and everything else that you can think of. So I was having a problem with that manifold not sealing all the way. The other side doesn't appear to be leaking and it's at the base. So I took it off and I could see where the gasket was crushed but it wasn't crushed all the way on the very back side. So I took that manifold and put it on my dummy motor I have over there which is a single port also and noticed that it would not seat all the way down without hitting the head. So I could have ground it off but I decided to take a cheap route out I just put another gasket in there on top of the other one that's already in there. So we'll see if that works. Hopefully uh, it'll crush and seal on there. I haven't started it up to see. So that's obviously where I'm losing some manifold pressure is right there. And that would be why you see a boost spike. It builds up and then it starts spewing out and then it comes down. So if we can keep this thing at 10 pounds of boost instead of 6.5 to 7. And if we go on a little diet, I think we can get in the 1350s without doing anything too wild. I looked in the manifold while I had it off. Um, the restriction in it is not as bad as I remember. It is smaller in diameter at the base and a little smaller in the neck here. But um, it was kind of like not a, enough to really warrant pulling it all apart compared to how small the heads are. So I uh, left that thing be, I, you know. So we got to um, lose some weight out of it. I did the math. I went on to... The internet and looked at a racing calculator and there's a one that I've always used I don't know how accurate that really is but the Wallace racing calculator um, says that if I lose 150 pounds out of it and I make 10 more horsepower it should be able to go in the 13s like a 13.8 13.6 something like that so we're gonna try and go and lose some weight so the bumpers are coming off um, I just realized since my deck lid prop is on the bumper, I'll probably uh, take the deck lid off because the, it won't work anymore. So the bumpers are coming off front and rear. The toolbox is going to come out of the back. Well, of course the kids seats are going to come out. And up front here I have a battery jumper. I have lug wrenches. I have oil. I have like another distributor coil. All that stuff will come out, and I'll make a video of that, and I'm going to try and weigh it all and see how much extra weight I have in there. And then, you know, I'll try and lose a little weight myself. So, if we can move 150 pounds out of it and make 10 more horsepower, we should be able to get this thing in 13s, as long as I make a good run, of course. Um, we should definitely see an improvement in mile an hour, hopefully. And uh, we'll see what else, you know, we can do. There's uh, probably some other little areas I'm not thinking about. I'm not going to go crazy taking seats out of it, because... Um, you can't really take the back seat out without a problem because then the battery box, the battery's not in a box and the one in a box, so then you have to put a battery box in it and that's just adding money and cost to it. That's where if I leave the seat in, you know, it's probably 10, 15 pounds at the most. Um, the passenger seat, I don't think it's that heavy, but I may, I may take that out. I may or may not, you know. Um, so maybe I'll take it out at the track if I'm getting close, but I need a little extra. Um, we'll run like a little bit less fuel in it. We'll probably go to a quarter tank to half a tank. It was about three quarters to full because I filled it up before we left. Um, I'll probably take it when I do go to the track next time. I'll probably bring a can with me and a friend will be with me. And I'll just uh, use the electric pump to pump all the gas in that. And then uh, refill it back up with a little bit of fuel and uh, make a run that way. I may put some race gas in it. Maybe we'll, you know, we'll turn the wick up a notch or something like that. I'm not sure. I got cast pistons in there and I don't want to hurt that. I really don't want to hurt the crank because uh, the crank is only rated for like 180 from my, my understanding because it's the 4140. It is not a 4340. So we got to take an easy on the crankshaft with this engine because, uh, you know, pistons will destroy some stuff but a crank will kill everything so anyways um we're gonna try and go on a diet here and we'll see if this little uh 
hillbilly rigging actually worked because I'm running out of those those are copper though I don't know if the metal ones are better than the copper but that's what they used to use so anyways guys get out there work on your cars um, go uh, give VW Darren's channel a little uh, support he uh, says you know he's got a video up to home where he's been and stuff and uh, what's happened so uh, Darren I know you're out there watching man I hope you get better I mean you know sorry that happened but uh I know you'll bounce right back. You always do, man. And uh, we'll try and keep some content coming because I know uh, being stuck sometimes is uh, a little hard to deal with. So we'll see you out in the garage in a little while, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.